The journey outward the story begins with a traveler. A traveler unlike any creation humanity has ever built or imagined. It carries not only wires, circuits, and fragments of metal, but also the unshakable curiosity of its makers. The imagination that forever drives us toward the unknown. This is Voyager 1, a small spark of human brilliance, the farthest object ever crafted by human hands. It does not rest quietly on Earth. It does not orbit the moon or circle the nearby planets. Instead, it sails forward alone, untethered and silent, drifting deeper into the vast ocean of space. A sea without maps. A sea without harbors. Only the quiet hum of eternity. Voyager was launched in the bright summer of 1977. It was small and fragile, no larger than a family car its instruments simple by today's standards. Its memory was tiny, its power faint. Yet within that delicate frame lived something bold, a leap of faith, a promise that humanity could reach beyond its cradle. Now, more than four decades later, Voyager has traveled over 22 billion kilometers from home. A distance so vast it defies comprehension. And still, it endures. It whispers across the endless dark, its signal weaker than the glow of a dim bulb. Yet somehow, Earth still listens. Massive radio dishes stretch toward the stars, straining to catch Voyager's faint, steady voice. But Voyager's story is more than distance. It is the story of discovery, of wonders revealed, of questions answered and new mysteries born. In the 1960s, NASA engineer Gary Flandro discovered something remarkable, a rare alignment of the outer planets. Between 1977 and 1980, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would line up, a formation that appears only once every 176 years. With clever use of gravity, a single spacecraft could leap from one world to the next, each planet's pull flinging it farther outward like a stone skipping across the solar system. NASA seized the moment. Two spacecraft were built, Voyager 2 and Voyager 1. Voyager 2 launched first. Voyager 1 followed 15 days later. The mission was planned to last four short years. But Destiny had other ideas. At Jupiter, Voyager found a world of storms, cyclones larger than Earth swirling across its clouds. Its magnetic field was immense, its atmosphere alive with lightning and color. Then came Io, a moon once thought frozen and lifeless. Voyager revealed it alive, its surface bursting with volcanoes, fountains of molten rock shooting into space. At Saturn, Voyager's cameras revealed rings more intricate than anyone had imagined. Tiny moons danced through them like invisible artists, carving delicate paths through ribbons of ice and dust. And then came Titan, a world hidden beneath a hazy orange veil. Voyager detected an atmosphere rich in organic chemicals, echoing the very processes that once birthed life on Earth. Voyager 2 pressed on. It became the only spacecraft to ever visit Uranus and Neptune. It uncovered tilted magnetic fields, blue storms spinning across frigid skies, and moons that spewed ice instead of fire. For the first time, distant points of light became living worlds. All this, achieved with technology simpler than a pocket calculator. Computers with 68 kilobytes of memory. Radios no stronger than a light bulb. And yet, their faint voices reached across billions of kilometers. Voyager was not just a mission, it was a message. Proof that humanity could reach beyond the known, beyond the sun's warm circle, into the vast dark of interstellar space. And then came the edge, the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and the true domain of the galaxy begins. Here, the solar wind fades into the breath of the cosmos. Scientists long wondered if Voyager would ever reach it. Would it survive long enough to cross? 
On August 25, 2012, the answer arrived. At 121 astronomical units from the Sun, Voyager 1 crossed the threshold. It became the first human creation to leave the solar system behind and step into the ocean of stars. The moment was profound. Instruments recorded waves of cosmic rays, ripples of plasma echoing through the void. It was as if Voyager had entered a hidden ocean, filled with silent, electric music. Yet the magnetic field did not change as expected. Voyager seemed to drift in a twilight realm, no longer within the sun's reach, yet not fully free among the stars. Even now, scientists debate the enduring message now, Voyager drifts ever outward. It sails toward the Oort cloud, a vast, icy halo surrounding the solar system like a ghostly crown. It is a realm of frozen comets, ancient remnants from the birth of the planets. To pass through it will take nearly 30,000 years. By then, Earth will have changed beyond recognition. Nations will rise and fall. Languages will vanish. Civilizations will evolve and fade. Perhaps even humanity itself will be gone. And yet, Voyager will still be there. Silent. Enduring. Carrying the memory of its makers through the eternal dark. Its heart is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a device that turns the slow decay of plutonium into warmth and power. But with each passing year, its strength weakens. Instrument by instrument, Voyager grows quieter. Its cameras are long gone. Spectrometers, magnetometers, and sensors fade one by one. By the early 2030s, its voice will likely fall silent forever. One last signal will cross the abyss, a final whisper returning home to Earth. Then, nothing but silence. But that silence will not be the end. For Voyager carries something eternal, a golden record, a time capsule forged in hope and wonder. A message meant not just for aliens, but for time itself. Etched into the record are greetings in 55 languages. The sounds of our planet, the crash of waves, the whisper of wind, the murmur of rain, the laughter of children, the heartbeat of humanity. There is music, too, ancient songs, timeless symphonies, melodies that once echoed through human hearts. From Bach to blind Willie Johnson, from distant chants to joyous rhythms, each note a fragment of who we were. There are images, sketches of DNA, atoms, and mathematics. Photographs of mountains, rivers, forests, and deserts. Faces of men and women. Animals, cities, oceans, and stars. A portrait of Earth, a record of a world that once dreamed. The golden record is not just data. It is emotion carved into metal. A love letter written by humanity to the cosmos. A declaration that we existed, that we dreamed, that we reached beyond the boundaries of our home. And perhaps, far in the future, someone, or something, will find it. Perhaps an ancient civilization among the stars. Perhaps the distant descendants of humanity itself. If they discover Voyager, they will hear us. They will hear our laughter. Our music. Our stories. They will know that once, on a small blue world orbiting a yellow sun, life rose from the dust, looked up, and dared to wonder. Voyager is more than a spacecraft. It is a monument to curiosity, to persistence, to the eternal spark of discovery. It turned distant lights into living worlds. It carried our questions to the edge of the galaxy. And now, as it sails beyond the reach of any sun, Voyager whispers back across time, what lies beyond the horizon? Who are we truly?